Hello and welcome to another couple with Casey. Okay, um, today we're going to do some more Inktober prep and finish off my character designs. So we'll get into it. I'm going to use this one today. As you can see, I haven't used before, so I don't even know what the colour's like on the paper. Should be interesting. Shavings, get in there, stop. Must be neat. Get the mm. okay. So, previously, I did a video showing my attempt at planning for Inktober with these two characters and I've changed it a little bit. I've kept the to the same but the girl I have changed because I had a moment of inspiration and decided I really wanted to draw some gorgeous natural hair. Um, and so I changed her design to make her uh, darker skinned with natural hair and we're gonna try that and I've done some practice pieces but it's not 100% designed yet and I need more practice so that's what today is doing and there may be some background noise because of my cats running around and also it is raining a lot outside so yeah <laughs> so we're gonna just do a quick front on So, the reason I changed it, other than wanting to do the hair, because, you know, gorgeous hair, um, I don't often draw people of colour because I don't really know how to, I guess you could say it's pretty simple. I draw what I know a lot of the time and a lot of what I know is short white girls which is what I am so um I thought I would go out of my comfort zone and what better time to practice doing something I'm not that good at than using Inktober which is 30 days of straight drawing so I want to create a likeable character that I will draw still after the challenge um, to continue um, learning. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on this sketch. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I want to go outside my comfort zone I want to create a really cute character and I wanted it to be sort of contrasting because obviously you've got Dieter who is you know white skin white hair ghost so he's very pale and I wanted our angel character to be um, darker so they contrast each other and I thought it would also be a nice sort of change from the usual you know angel white hair blue eyes kind of image 
I wanted more natural looking character and that's where this uh, this design sort of came from so yeah I'm still struggling with how to draw the hair without making it just look like an afro um, not that there's anything wrong with afros but I want it to look like I've actually put effort into drawing the hair how the hair would be so let's just get this front on image sorted so we want her to have some nice curves I want her to look like an actual human being and not a stick figure so we'll put some curvies into her I'm thinking smaller chest wider hips sort of pear shaped body might give it a good triangle shape um, because that's something I don't draw very often. I usually tend to go for the hourglass shaped thing. So I don't even know if you can see those scribbles that I just did up <laughs> But hey ho, um, I'm going for paired shape using triangles. Um, and I haven't put enough room to show the feet. That's fine. I will one day learn how to draw decent feet okay so i want her to have the same sort of part as i had originally done so hair sort of parts there think it crowd moss she's going to have like a parted afro <laughs> um and then i'm not sure how short i want it to be whether i want it to be more boxy or i want it to come down We'll see. I'll add some arms onto her first. Let's not forget arms. She has arms. Let's not deprive her of those. Okay, so from the practice I've done, I've sort of given her a little bit there. And just done it in like clumps of groups and it hasn't looked too bad to my eyes but I need more practice so it doesn't look like I'm just sort of guessing all the shapes which is pretty much what I'm doing I am just guessing thinking where the hair would go to um, from where it grows out from the scalp you know so that's sort of where I normally get to and then I just color it in color it in color it in color it in And, ta -da. and then she has her halo and some nice this is another thing that I want to practice on drawing feminine mouths like good thick lips but not looking like I've just shoved lipstick on them like hardcore because I find mouths are really hard to draw without making it look like I've just So, you want some good eyelashes, and do I want her to have earrings and stuff? Like, character design wise, I'm not sure if angels would wear piercings, but I don't know, some cute Going with the triangle theme, cute little triangular earrings could be cool. I 
now go with it and if I don't like how it looks when I do a more detailed picture then um, we'll scrap it her head is way too big for her body she looks like a brat doll <laughs> oh it's okay we're just practicing here we'll uh we'll fix the anatomy problem in a minute um okay now i want her to have the cute style that i'm obsessed with at the moment the strappy dress over t-shirt look short strappy dress over a t-shirt but I might even make it a long sleeve one and like v-neck it so it's got that triangle shape again so she's got like a v-neck oh my eraser is rubbish quarter sleeves and then you know hands this pencil is not working for me I might have to change pencils in a minute and I cannot draw hands today that's okay that's okay and then shade in the skin so we give her like a pale yellow t-shirt or something. And then I'm really wanting to make this character barefoot because drawing feet is fun. It will also make me practice drawing feet. And I like the feel of it being sort of more natural and then obviously she's got little, little wingsies okay so that's sort of the vibe <laughs> now to just make it not look like rubbish See if this pencil works for me this time. Okay, so we'll attempt a different pose. Um... So everything after this point, I forgot to talk for. Um, I sort of just got in the zone. I was struggling to get the pictures to come out how I wanted, and I wanted to focus on that rather than trying to explain my process. <laughs> So I just did that. I thought the video would be much more entertaining for you if I actually did some artwork instead of some scribbling and trying to talk about what I was scribbling. I found a pose I liked on Pinterest and attempted to recreate the character in the pose. Um, I sort of roughly sketched out the shape of the pose whilst looking at my phone, as you can see. Um, I did it very quick and very rough and then went back through um, afterwards to add more detail or to make it the actual character so as you can see I put my phone down and now I'm refining the shapes and the details how I wanted them to be so I knew the outfit that I wanted I knew the hair I wanted um, and this is actually something I find quite fun. Once I have created a character or learnt the details of a character through practicing just a face on image, I really enjoy finding a pose and putting that character into that pose. It's one of my favourite things to do, which is why I really enjoy my hashtag draw my, well, Casey draw my OC. Um, 
because I can practice drawing your OCs, get used to them and then just put them in any fun poses and I really enjoy that. It's, it takes the stress off of me actually having to design the character that I want to draw. I, it's why I should draw more fan art really because you know what's more fun than drawing characters I love in funny awkward poses and stuff nothing but I hardly ever draw fan art and I don't know why I should do it more <laughs> um yeah so I had fun with this chick who still has no name please suggest a name for her she needs one before October starts really um yeah so I did that pose I had fun with it I wanted it to make sure kind of like she was make it look, sorry, make it look kind of like she was jumping down off of something, so I tried to make the, um, all the clothes in her hair move in the direction as if she was going sort of down at an angle, ready to, I don't know, land on her butt or something from the looks of it, but, I don't know, maybe she's jumping down into a cloud, she's an angel after all. Um, and after I did that, I wanted to do a full colour piece and try and get the skin tones worked out with my Copics. I did my usual three quarter portrait sort of thing and then added a body and it looked a little bit awkward at first. Um, it looked very stiff but I kind of wanted to focus on the face and the hair more than the body itself so I just left the body looking sort of stiff and focused all the details into like the hair and the facial expression and everything. I didn't want to get tied up on trying to make the body look spectacular because I knew then I would not put the amount of effort into the face that I wanted. Um, yeah, so I even sort of went very lacklustre with the wings. I didn't put much detail into those whatsoever. But the thing with this character is I'm thinking she can sort of change the size of her wings at will. So. Sometimes they'll be really small and cutesy, sometimes they'll be really big, just depends on what she is doing. Like if she's flying, for example, they'll probably be quite big to actually catch the air currents and stuff. Whereas she's just stood there, she doesn't need gigantic wings, they tend to be small. And like, I think if she gets sort of angry, like, they go bigger and bigger to be sort of like really intimidating. And like, if she's scared, they sort of puff up like a cat's fur kind of thing. I just, I found that really a funny image. So. That's definitely going to be a thing. I hope I get some <laughs> prompts that actually allow me to show off that because I think it'd be really funny. Even if I don't, I might just draw it for the hell of it, you know. So this is the start of the colouring process. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I have little to no experience drawing um, people with darker skin tones. Um, it's not something I do often because I don't really know how to do it. And I mean, I know practice makes perfect. If I practiced it more, I would get better at it. Um, but it's the whole, I don't want to be bad at it, so I never practice it thing. It's like um, a double-edged sword or something. I don't know. A vicious cycle, I think, is the one that I'm thinking of. Anyway, so... I made myself do this, I picked some colours I think would thought would work and just went straight into it without thinking. I didn't want to get too hung up on making it perfect. I just wanted to have fun. Oh, sorry. Ah. You on? Oh, that is getting up five times in the night to feed the baby. Yawning. I apologise. Um. Where was I? Oh yes, I was doing the skin. So I wanted to make her look um, lively, if you know what I mean. Like I didn't want skin tone to look like a dead brown. Because I know if you don't use the right kind of brown for skin tone, it can look really washed out and um, just make them look dead. And I wanted her to look like she was alive, even though she's an angel, you know, she's a living creature. And I wanted to give that impression that she's glowing, not that she's sort of like dead. Um, so I added a bit of pink into the cheeks and the nose and the lips to sort of show there's like blood under the skin, if, if you know what I mean, it's like blushies to add life to the face. Um, I think it turned out okay, it didn't look too pink in my opinion, it didn't look like makeup to me, so um, 
I enjoyed it. Oh, and this is where I started colouring the hair and one of my Copics was running out. I just happened to happily have a refill for the exact one I was using, so that was lucky. Um, so you got to see my really rushed and archaic version of refilling my Copic markers. Um, I even switched which ones I was using um, because of this. I used... I was going to use... Um, one for lining and the other to fill in, but then I think the one I was using to fill in was the one that was running out, so I switched and started using that one as the line and the other one to fill in because um, when you just sort of refill them, they can still be a little bit dry and scratchy on the paper until there's like the ink starts flowing properly again, and I didn't want that to be through the hair, so I decided to use that sort of little lining of the shapes instead of the filling it out. And I think that was the best choice because the colours actually once I refilled that mark it was a bit different than how I originally switched it on the paper to the side of it there um, so I'm glad that I switched them up but I had a lot of fun with the hair of this chick whose name has not been picked yet please give me a name for all that is good in the world give me a name for this girl I cannot think of one um, I had so much fun doing the hair trying to make it look textured and um, messy but not messy <laughs> I wanted it to look like she just wakes up and it's perfect every day because she's an angel and she can I don't know, do that and lucky for us mortals we can't do that and I gave her blue eyes now I know this is um, not average um, the darker skin with blue eyes but there's an actor I, I, don't, I don't know his name, I suck at remembering the names of actors but there's an actor and he has gorgeous dark skin and amazing blue eyes and every time I see him in something I'm just like oh my gosh she's beautiful and I wanted to um, do that with her I wanted her to have that effect on people like given that she's an angel I wanted her to be like people who look at her are just astounded that she's so pretty um, and I thought that was I uh, gave her like a really natural sort of face shape um, and the gorgeous natural hair and then I wanted the blue eyes just to like draw you in and mesmerize you and I don't know if that happened in this picture particularly but I like it that's the, the image I have in my head of what she looks like whether or not you know it came out that way is another story but I liked it so I hope you enjoy it too so given that I hadn't really used any black in this piece I thought her dress would look best in the dark brown I used for the hair because it would have the right level, same level of contrast to everything else in the picture um, and I really liked how it turned out I could get some good layers of shading and stuff in with it and then I just did a very light sort of shade with a very pale blue for the wings um, I haven't decided if I want to give them colour if I just want to leave them white yet so I just sort of did this um, for now and then my new Pentel pocket brush pen. I haven't really used it properly yet. I thought I'd give it a whirl on this piece um, just for some minor details. I wasn't going to line the whole thing but I think I ended up doing it anyway um, because I have no self-control and once I start lining I kind of just do everything. I really need to learn that thing that some people do where they don't line the whole thing and it still looks great. Um, I always just keep going and going and going and then I've suddenly, suddenly I've done the whole thing and I'm like, oh well, that's not what I meant to do, but oh well, it's done now. Um, which is kind of what happened with this thing, this picture. Picture, not picture. Ugh, words today. Am I right, guys? Am I right? <laughs> so, I kind of chose to use this pen because I haven't really used it yet and I want to use it during Inktober. Um, so I was practicing, like, I it's a brush pen so you really got to watch the weight of your hand when you're drawing with it and so I wanted to do that and also I found with this one you really have to watch the direction you are flowing the nib as well because it's actual like a paintbrush it's got fine hairs in it with the ink flowing through if you do it at the wrong angle it can make a really wide streaky line and <laughs> that's not what I want at least in this piece <laughs> At least in this picture, it wasn't what I wanted. But I got there in the end. I added some highlights with my Jelly Roll Sakura da 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 da. I re added the earrings that I accidentally 
coloured over with the hair. And I think they look quite cute in the white, actually. Um, and then I signed it. So that's this piece. Um, please let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Go follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And check me out on Patreon. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you all next week. And don't forget to offer me names for this girl. Please, she needs a name. <laughs> all right, bye guys.